Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making a easy, hearty meal and I will be using items that I received from my local food pantry, namely beef stew and a can of beef. Now if you don't have a can of beef, you can just use two packets of beef stew and you will still get an amazing filling hearty beef stew pot pie. I came up with this last year when I was just really bored and didn't want to just eat the same thing, beef stew, heat it up, over toast, blah blah blah. So actually I was baking bread a day or two before and I had made pie crust. So all I did was make a pot pie with the beef stew and it turned out really really good with the addition of a few seasonings it was absolutely amazing so what I'm gonna do today is a little refresher course on how to make the pie crust I'm not gonna go into the whole full demonstrating um, I'm not gonna be using my mixer I'm actually going to be doing it by hand with a fork um, basically just because, as I said, I'm doing a refresher as far as making crust. And I'm going to be doing a double recipe. So that way I can make two pot pies since I have a can of beef and I also have two packs of the beef stew. So I figure make double the crust and make two pot pies, one eat for dinner, one I can freeze for another meal. So let's give a quick uh, refresher on how I make my pie crust. So in a bowl I will be adding six cups of all-purpose flour, to six tablespoons of white sugar. I have six cups of all-purpose flour and six tablespoons of white sugar. I mix it up with a spoon and now I'm going to be adding two cups of unsalted butter. These are unsalted butter sweet cream unsalted butter sticks and I'm just using this to cut the pieces up into small pieces. I'm just going to do that with all four sticks. Four sticks equals two cups of butter. Remember, I am making a double batch of pie crust dough because I will be making not one but two these two pot pies. I need tonight one to freeze for another day. Right now I am using a pastry uh, blender and I am cutting into the flour and sugar one cup of the unsalted butter, which is two sticks. And I'm just basically just like cutting it into smaller pieces and smaller pieces. 
scraping the sides of the bowl and just going back over it and just pushing down, going sideways, just cutting it smaller and smaller. So I'm going to continue doing that with my two remaining sticks of unsalted butter. And I'm going to cut it into the flour as well. I'm going to start pouring in my ice cold water. I'm going to be using two-thirds cup of ice water and I will be mixing the flour with a fork. As I said, not using a mixer. I just want to show you how you can do it without. Now I do have ice cubes in my water. So let me add my first third of a cup. And I'm going to stir this around. See, it's actually so much easier to stir because I have the butter all cut into the flour. Very small, small pieces. So that really works out good. Now sometimes you need to add more water. And if you feel that you do, then by all means, go ahead. Two-thirds cup for a double batch is approximate. But if for whatever reason you just feel that it's not coming together as dough properly, then, whoops, by all means, do. Now I'm going to start kneading the dough in a bowl until it forms a ball. And yes, I do have clean hands. I wash them prior to sticking my hands into this bowl. So, yes, just remember if you're doing a double batch, which would be four pie crust, you will need one and a third cups ice water. <clears throat> the dough needs to be divided into two parts and then divide each part into two more parts. So you flatten it into a sort of a dish shape or close to it. Wrap it with some cling wrap and this will chill for about a half hour before the fun part of rolling my pie crust out. Now I am just rolling out pie crust. Uh, this piece was a little bit shorter, so I'm just rolling out some extra to fill in the gap, shall we say, so I can crimp the top when I add the filling and do a top crust. And like I said, I'm just filling in like spots here that I ran a little bit short on dough because this ball is a little bit smaller. And all I do in a situation like this, truthfully, is just press the dough into the other dough and join it together. 
That's all. It's like super easy. No, no great mystery of joining a joining dough together. And sometimes it just happens. Sometimes you have too much in one piece of bread or bread dough. <coughs> sometimes you have too much in one piece of pie crust and not enough in the other bowl. So it's perfectly fine. And this is a little uh, thing I see my grandma do back in the day if she happened to uh, like run short in a dough ball. I just took some extra pieces and just basically just pressed it in, joined it. Now I have my oven preheating at 400 and I'm just going to put these aside for a moment and then I'm going to put my uh, my beef and my beef stew into a large pot, heat it up, season it up a little bit, and I'll be filling my pies and rolling out my top crust, crimping them, and they're going in the oven. I'm just going to add my seasonings into the mixture quick. I have some salt in here. black pepper stir that around good and like I said I have all the world market I thought it was sex you know it's world market uh, beef stew in here along with the lakeside canned beef from the food pantry. Both are from the food pantry. <coughs> so I have one done. I'm going to be uh, rolling out the crust for the second one. It was filled and they're both going to go in my 400 degree oven for roughly 25 minutes. Well there is the first piece I cut out of the oven about 10 minutes ago. It was really, really steaming. I let it uh, cool down a little bit before I take a bite. But I can tell you, this looks really, really filling. And I know it's going to be good. Well, guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit my subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching. Take care. I will see you all on the next one. Good night.